We ran uh, over about $100 billion of, uh, of pension and 401k monies. And uh, what we learned through experience is that it's devilishly hard to beat the markets. It's devilishly hard to pick the markets, the currencies, the managers that are going to outperform. And it's also expensive to do it that way, whether you do it insider or not. So you could say we learned the hard way, but I would say we just learned by experience that it was better not to do that. It was better just to index a lot of it. In some areas, maybe it might make sense, but in a lot of areas, it didn't. And uh, so we slowly moved over towards indexing, and the majority of the assets were run that way. When you run a big pool of assets, um, it's an interesting experience, especially if you run a really big pool like I did, because you basically have access to the best and the brightest in the world. They return your phone calls, which they won't do if you have a smaller pool of assets, and certainly not if you're a small investor. Um, but what's, what's ironic is sometimes you'll have two or three meetings, maybe even in the same day or in a couple of days. And uh, you'll have one guy come in, and after an hour, you're convinced this is, the, this is God's gift to money management because he's just convinced you that Malaysia is the gr best place to go in, in Asia. And then that afternoon, you'll have another guy come in, and at the end of that hour, you'll be convinced that Indonesia is the best place to go in, in that area. And then the next morning, you'll have another money manager come in, and he'll convince you that Sri Lanka or, or, or Bangladesh or India. And in the end, you kind of wonder, you, you wonder, say, no, why? These guys are all smart. They've all spent their lives in this. This is their life's work, and they can't even agree. So sometimes I would I'd get that feeling. I would say, no, if these really smart guys can't agree, how the heck am I supposed to do it?